power is out in parts of the North Bay. PG&E has already started the first of several preemptive blackouts. With thousands of homes in the dark, customers are being told to wait it out. KPIX 5's Jackie Ward is live in Sonoma this morning, where the lights have been out for hours now. Jackie? Michelle, the lights have been out in a lot of parts of Sonoma County, but we found some lights, some kind of emergency lighting, I think, here in the Safeway parking lot in downtown Sonoma. And you can see as we walk up to the glass, these people have been working overnight trying to preserve any food that's in here, but they've covered up a lot of stuff. Um, it's unclear right now whether they'll be letting people in. I imagine they will since they're, they've been here quite a, a while now, but our drive up was kind of strange. Sears Point had power as we were driving up 121, then right around Klein Wineries when we started to think that the power was out. We also saw a gas station up and running at the 121-116 junction, and the stoplight at highways 12 and 121 was out. Power was at least partially on at Napa Road and 12. We could tell because the traffic lights were working there, but only for a few blocks, and then it was out again. So it's been a little tricky to figure out where exactly power's on and where it's off. This is the first of three phases. It started around midnight and it's impacting roughly 513,000 customers across the North Bay right now. Of course, PG&E says this decision to turn off power was based on forecasts of dry, hot and windy weather, including potential fire risk. And based on forecasts, PG&E anticipates that this weather event will last through midday Thursday. Peak winds will last through midday Thursday. So Mary, of course, has been updating all of us with that she will continue to do a great job doing so this morning. One thing that I found really helpful, and I actually did this myself yesterday, I texted the word enroll, E-N-R-O-L-L, -L -L, to the number 97633. That is a direct connection to PG&E. I will now get text notifications for at least my zip code, which is in San Francisco, which isn't helpful to me this morning. But if you do live in the North Bay, you might want to sign up for that because then you'll be getting automatic text updates as we figure out how to navigate through this power outage. Live in Sonoma, Jackie Ward, KPIX5. And that is good advice, Jackie. All right, thank you. This is the first time a planned power outage will affect major urban areas and Oakland officials say they will be ready. Police Chief Ann Kirkpatrick says the city canceled all days off for sworn officers, asking them to work to ensure public safety. The fire department has staffed up. Meantime, Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff is calling a possible five-day shutdown, quote, unacceptable. Uh, again, we expect PG&E to do everything to minimize impact to residents. Uh, the idea of five days without electricity is devastating. And we uh, fully expect that to be a worst case scenario. In Santa Clara County today, PG&E will open a resource center at Avaya Stadium in San Jose from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. for the duration of the shutdown. The center will provide water, charging stations, air conditioning, and up-to-date information. 436 right now this morning, Caltrans is scrambling to install generators for the tunnels at Devil Slide and Caldecott. They can't operate without power for their safety systems. And without electricity, the lights won't function inside the bores of the Caldecott Tunnel. And more importantly, the tunnel's exhaust fans will not work. Caltrans confronted the problem yesterday, and now they're scrambling to set up four backup generators before the lights go out in Contra Costa County. You probably have questions about what services will be available in a shot off. For instance, will BART be running? Well, the answer is yes. The transit system has its own power substations. The airports all have backup generators, as so do the toll plazas. So no free rides across those bridges. As for the gas pumps, that is a different story. We saw lines snaked around the parking lot at the Concord Costco yesterday in case the pumps aren't working today. People are, aren't just filling up their cars. They're also stocking up on fuel for their generators. I keep the refrigerator going for the food. There you go. They yep. said uh, maybe five to seven days, possibly. Uh, then I'll need more gas. ATMs may also be inoperable during an outage. It all depends on whether the business has a backup system. And you might have a portable charger to keep your phone on, but will it work? Looks like the answer is yes. Cell towers are protected by backup generators and batteries. And you shouldn't expect any disruption in your water service. East Bay Mud tells us it has topped off its reservoirs and has backup equipment in place to power the system.